Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're a returning visitor, I'm really glad that you're back. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the latest updates of Satsa CD Sampler. Uh, I think this is a fun new filter that you might have not seen before, so let's dive into it. Okay, so let's jump into it. In this project, I opened a new file and uh, as you can see, I have the preview sphere open. Um, for this project, I think this is the best. You can, of course, choose a different mesh from the viewer settings, but yeah, of course, this is my favorite. Those who watch my videos, they already know. So um, we have a new filter called stylization, and I thought that I'm going to show you what it can do. So I just drag and drop an image into it's a it's a photo of a, like a mossy uh, wood that I found in the forest and I just took a, like a photo of it so I just drop it into sample and I say image to material which is AI powered you can select the document size if it, the picture is too small you can upscale it or crop it we are not gonna do this at the moment and I click on import import and uh, as you can see now sampler converted it into a, a material immediately and i think it looks already really really good let's open the views so let's check the uh, 2d 3d views so this is how it looks and uh, i think it's really cool so let's just drop the stylization filter on top stylization and if you throw this filter on top of an image you will get a um, completely different style as you can see you can select from different presets called for example contrasted stylization painterly or hand painted so let's check them one by one what they are doing and you can immediately see all these brush stroke like details i think it looks really cool let's check the painterly effect it's a little bit more blurry and then we have the hand painted yeah i think this is my favorite this one and uh, in the properties you can change the color uh, like uh, the, in this base color tab you can change some of these colors and you can play with like color variation the intensity you can add like a whole bunch of details and uh, once it's computed you can see that you got this really interesting effect and of course this material is not uh, seamless at the, mo at the moment so what you can do is that you can just drop a make it tile on top maybe even this is a better order of things no, so here you can see that we have a seamless material which looks really really cool let's zoom into it even more so you can see this painterly effect so what you can do is you can export it as an SBSR file and you can use it in uh, other CDFs, for example in Cinema 4D or Soft and CD Stager. You can actually send it directly to Stager and directly to, to Painter to, to work with. So here are the export settings. You can name the material and here you can select SBSR, SBSR, yeah, that is what, what you need. And then you just click, uh, click on export. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will come with another video very soon and see you on the next one.